Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Today we got one from Shot X and Desert Water Games, and it's Danger Gazers. You can currently grab this for, I think it's right at 10 bucks, a little bit under it, maybe like $8.99, $9.99. But uh, it's a roguelike top down shooter, and uh, it actually surprised me. It was a lot better than I expected. Usually I don't get into games like that. But this one, uh, you can play it single player or co op. And uh, every time you play it, it feels different because you can use different relics. You have different characters to choose from. They all have like different abilities. And you have uh, like a little post apocalyptic area that you have to clear out of all the enemies. And then once you clear out all the enemies, uh, you'll be able to go back to your, your trailer there. And uh, right here is the map. You gotta try to get to the end where the boss is, uh, and then you'll get a, you know, a different area. You also have like things right here where, you know, you can spin the wheel to uh, get different abilities. You also pick up different weapons and stuff throughout the levels. Like there'll be a little chest that you can pick up. Uh, it isn't overly difficult, but it isn't super easy either. Uh, there's parts of it that can be really challenging. The enemies will come at you pretty quick. And I think it just it depends on you know just your pickups, you know what you find along the way. Uh, like if you have a really good gun, it might be fairly easier. If you have a good relic, it's just uh, it's different every time you play it. And I enjoyed that aspect of it. I like that, you know, it isn't ever the same game, so it has tons of replay value. The achievements are super easy though for all you achievement hunters. You can get all the achievements in probably I'd say three to four minutes. You know, like your first game, you're going to do everything that you can do more than likely. So if you're an achievement hunter, this is definitely one you want to add to the collection that you're going to, you know, want to put in that library and knock it out fast. And you won't mind at that price, uh, you know, but I, I think you'll play it more than even after you get all the achievements. Because even after I got all the achievements, I, I kept playing this game. I, I had a good time with it. Uh, I figure a lot of roguelike people, people who like top-down shooters will. I know that's not everybody's genre, you know. I think it's, it's, it's kind of a dated genre and you don't see a ton of it. But uh, I enjoy them when, once I, when I get my hands on one. And this is one of the better ones. So, you know, it, it's it's definitely fun. It's de definitely addictive. You know, it, it's, uh, it's hard to step away from, you know. Like you'll die and you'll just want to start a new game all over just to see, you know, what's going to be different this time around. All the levels are randomly generated. So like I said, every time you play it, it's a different game. You know, they're never going to be the same weapons. It's never going to be the same enemies. It might be the same looking location, but the map will be laid out different. So every time you play it, it's just a different game and that's pretty cool. Uh, so check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. Like I said, it's not great. It's not, don't think that it's like an amazing game, but it is a good game. It is fun. It is addictive. It is a good uh, way to spend an evening. You know, you're going to play this for a few hours and uh, you're going to enjoy your time with it. And then you're going to get all those achievements and pad the game restore. So it's definitely worth it in that aspect. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for the support. Please like and comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Let me know in the comments if, you, uh, if you've played this yet and what you think about it. But I'm going to give this one a 6 out of 10. And it's just a fairly good score right there in the middle. Nothing amazing, but definitely not a bad game either. Uh, it's an entertaining, fun game that you, know, that you won't mind put sinking in evenings uh, into. So, uh... Thanks for watching, guys. Until next time, I'll see you in those litter boards.